Shalom, shalom. Today, I want to talk to people out there and tell you to get the most out of what you have. Let's talk about it. Glory to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches. Man, we are in a daytime and hour where people are out here struggling. You know, they don't know how to generate income for themselves. They're not trying to figure out ways to break through the struggle. It's just relying on the system, and that system does not want you to prosper. That system does not teach you to prosper. You know, I'll give you an idea. You got people going to college right now to be business majors, but the people that are teaching them have never ran businesses, never started businesses. They don't teach you to hustle. They teach you to manage a business for somebody else, but never teach you the inner workings of it. You know, right now, there's all kind of government reliefs and stuff like that going on. They didn't, they didn't gave out stimulus and handouts. And you ask folk, man, what did you do with that money? You said it was going to help, but it only helped you for the moment. It was temporary. And your struggle seems a little bit more permanent. You know, if you're somebody that changes cars very often, you know, you're getting the latest and greatest car. I'm going to tell you, man, get the most out of what you got. If you got too much car for your lifestyle, downsize. Downsize, pay cash for something. You might have to put a little oil in it every now and then. But at least your expenses, you know, maybe you got a car, it's a cash car, but you can pay liability insurance for it. You know, it doesn't take premium gas. It's not a V8. It's not hogging, you know, gas. When it comes to people that like to jump houses, man, there's some people out there, man, that they're chasing success, but they're going about it, you know, the wrong, they, 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 they're moving apartment complexes. A new apartment comes up and it's a new high rise and it looks appealing and they jump in here, there, there. But yet inflation is hitting their wallet, but they're not getting any increase or not doing anything to do it. You know, some of these people that are in these cities struggling to pay rent, highest stuff is car notes. You know, you finance a car, you're looking at anywhere from like six to nine percent interest on this. You're buying a home. This stuff is hot. This stuff is hot. Man, you got to be looking at, you know, OK, man, this place right here is doing just fine. It's not MTV Cribs. It's not no Housewives of Atlanta and all of this, but it's doing fine. You know, I got a light bill I can afford. I have a gas bill I can afford. You know, I'm in an area where, you know, uh, food is it. You have, to, you have to count these costs, man. People are getting ready to be struggling and they're going out financing Christmas gifts for a holiday that ain't mentioned nowhere in the Bible. Man, you better get the most out of what you got. Get the most out of what you got. Clothes. Don't nobody care, man, what, you, what you're what you wearing. Are you clothed? Are you warm? Get the most out of your clothes. Buying all these shoes. Don't nobody care. That stuff's only for a moment. Oh, man, that dude got some $300 shoes. That's only for a moment. A lot of these people in these cities struggling, trying to live their best life, would be better off living in the countryside, living in a trailer. Their quality of life would be better. You could actually have some land. You would doggone, you know, have a, 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 a rent or a mortgage bill so doggone low, it almost, I mean, it's almost next to nothing. You got to think, man, this country was built on people that were building their own houses. They didn't look like 
like nothing off of a magazine, but people were surviving. Now we got people living in nice places, claiming to struggle, and the people before you didn't struggle. You better figure out how to get the most out of everything that you have. Stop throwing your jars and stuff like that away. If you're somebody that's always having to buy these plastic containers, re, re, uh, you know, save your containers. You get these jugs and things like that and you're always having to buy the different stuff, save it, repurpose it. I'm not gonna get you into gardening and homestead and talking to that one, that's a different video. But get the most out of what you have right now. Now is not the time to splurge. The system doesn't support you living the lifestyle that mentally you wanna live, but you don't have the hustle mindset to try to break free of the system. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking the gun barrel straight. Wow.